This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Haley has the night off. Topping our news tonight, a shocking DUI arrest after a man passes out behind the wheel with a two-year-old in the car trying to wake him up. And it's all caught on cell phone video. ABC 7's Bo Beth DH joins us now with more on the story. Bo Beth? Well, Scott, the details may sound unbelievable, but it's real. The Sarasota man passed out after drinking, allegedly drinking too much, and the two-year-old was in the car to witness it all. Shocking cell phone video showing a man passed out at the wheel with a toddler right next to him. I just happened to notice going through the 10th street light, um, the guy in the turn lane, but then there was a kid standing in the front. So I could see him moving while I was sitting at 10th street light. So when I approached the car, I looked at the gentleman and realized he didn't look like he was coherent. According to the Sarasota Police Department, the driver, 28-year-old Winston Folks, had passed out with his car in drive and his foot on the brakes. Here you see his car stopped in the middle of the road with traffic flowing on both sides. All the while, a baby is seen in the front seat trying to wake him up. They arrived on scene and, and assessed immediately and realized that there was a child in the car that was unrestrained and just realized just how dangerous uh, the situation was. Luckily, the car was not in traffic. It was actually pulled over um, into a turn lane, um, but again, a very dangerous situation due to the amount of traffic, due to the fact that the car was in drive. According to the incident's report, when officials arrived on scene, folks' pupils were dilated and his speech slurred. Officials also say they noticed a strong smell of alcohol. Christine Andrews was the Good Samaritan who intervened to prevent the dangerous situation from getting worse. I'm just glad I was there at the right time to see because who knows how long they were really sitting there. And the baby started to move the tires at that point and you could see him hitting his dad or whoever he was with the phone. Now, folks was arrested for driving under the influence, and he's also accused of child abuse without bodily harm. He has been released on bond and is expected to be in court back in August. Back to you. All right, Bobet, thank you. The city of Venice has filed a lawsuit against Neal Communities, hoping to get clarification on a matter the two cannot agree on. The city has a longstanding annexation agreement that requires new home builders to pay a certain fee before they can get a certificate of occupancy. According to the city, Neal Communities did not want to pay that fee any longer. So after nearly two years of back and forth negotiations, the city has decided to file a lawsuit against Neal to have a third party make a decision. After this period of uh, prolonged negotiation, we haven't made a lot of progress. So the city decided to seek a judicial solution to this, that is ask a judicial body to determine whether or not it's appropriate for us to collect the fee. Neo Communities responded this afternoon by saying the company agrees with the city's decision to send the matter to court. More homes coming to Lakewood Ranch. The Mallory Park at Lakewood Ranch community is being built north of State Road 70 and south of 64. The community will feature single-family homes along with townhomes, and prices will start in the mid-200s. Crews recently broke ground on an amenity center, which features a spa, pool, and other recreational areas. Time to get a check on our weather. Meteorologist Steve Newman in for Bob tonight. Hi, Steve. Hey, Scott. It's summer on the Sun Coast. We got storms, we got humidity. What else would you expect coming up in the middle of July? Now, we have a strong southerly wind flow bringing in the moisture from the Caribbean in the tropics. Uh, that sets the stage for these thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, a really strong wind came right over eastern Sarasota County about 2 o'clock, then over Parrish. And now that cell or the activity is in the heart of Florida. There is a uh, flash flood warning in effect for the Mayaka River near Mayaka Head as a result of that heavy rain. That's pretty typical for this time of year. This is our brand new GO-16 satellite. And you can see the resolution is much increased. Those are the blow-off storms. And you can see the, all the uh, texture of those thunderstorms moving in the heart of Florida right now. Now here's our high resolution future cast that seems to indicate we have another round perhaps coming in overnight tonight, uh, maybe 10, 11 o'clock and then clearing out overnight. Temperatures in the next few hours will slowly cool off into the upper 70s with the chance of thunderstorms all evening long. But look at this, a little spike up to 70% chance by 10 o'clock. We'll see if this is true. I have my suspicions. We have a new tropical storm, Don, I'll tell you about coming up in just a few minutes, Scott. All right, Steve, thank you. Thousands of Florida students won't have to worry about homework next year after Marion County School Superintendent decided to get rid of it in the district's elementary schools. Manatee County School Board Chair Charlie Kennedy contacted Superintendent Diana Green about that decision. 
Kennedy wants to discuss it at a future board meeting. Some current and former school board members think students learn much more through reading and counting with parents than doing homework by themselves. But other board members think the change would be a bad idea for students. A student doing 20 to 30 minutes of reading with a parent or sibling or family member is much more valuable to that student's educational experience and has, uh, has provable long-term gains. One of the things that's key is every teacher teaches differently. So why should we as a school board mandate across the entire spectrum of the county that there's no homework policy? Manny Manatee County Superintendent Diana Green is out of town this month, could not be reached for comment, but Kennedy believes this would ultimately be her decision. This summer, other Manatee County students are volunteering for even more homework. The Educational Consultants Consortium of Palmetto is hosting a summer work and school program for students who need extra help in class. For five hours a day, students work alongside custodial staff at local middle schools for a paycheck and then spend three more hours in tutoring at three locations around the county. Organizers say it helps kids go back to school in the fall ahead of where they were when the summer began. The reason why I do it is just to get out of the house so I can do something, so I'm, I'm not being lazy. You still have to do some academics. You just can't go, I don't think students should go idle what happened without having some kind of academics to have them ready. Students can make up to $1,700 for themselves through this summer program plus the learning too. Still to come in your Suncoast news, the future of shopping malls remains unclear as several reports reveal many will not survive much longer. And a faster transportation network between passengers and their cars. We'll show you the latest system coming to Tampa International Airport that caught the eye of Governor Rick Scott. Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio charmed us all and crippled the competition. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. I'm Cindy Lou. I'm Susie. I'm Missy. And I'm Betty Jean. And we're the Marvelous Wonderettes. Mr. Sandman. Experience the best girl group songs from the 50s and 60s live on stage at the Players Center July 12th through the 23rd. Call 941-365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You'll fall in love with the marvelous Wonderettes. I'm so alone. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Alfa Romeo got a lot right with the Julia, but the handling alone is sufficient reason to get one. 
Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. For years, shopping mall retail stores have been closing at an epic pace. And now investment research firm Morningstar is out with a new list of mall locations across the country that are likely to go belly up when Sears closes its anchor stores. Westfield Sarasota Square Mall is on that list. The firm and many experts consider malls to be at risk with the loss of two main anchors. I think that that really more reflects the fact that maybe some of those anchor stores are seen as as you know, maybe belonging to an older generation, if you will. You know, that, you know, that's where my mom and dad shopped. Sears will close later this year, and Sarasota Square lost another anchor in Macy's earlier this year. Tampa International Airport plans to transport passengers in a new one-and-a-half-mile people mover system. Governor Scott was at Port Tampa Bay today to welcome the 12 train cars for SkyConnect. The system will connect the airport's main terminal to the economy garage and new rental car center. Crews just have to install the cars and finish the new rental center. Scott says all the money that the state has invested into our ports is paying off. We have over 900,000 uh, jobs around our ports. Uh, we've added over 200,000 jobs uh, around our airports, our, our ports, just in the last six years. And this state's on a roll. Crews began construction for this project three years ago and work on the guideway structure finished earlier this year. The system will be open to the public by early 2018 following extensive testing. And passenger traffic is up once again at Punta Gorda Airport for the 44th consecutive month. The airport saw 108,000 passengers in June, which has now totaled uh, 1.2 million for the last year. Part of the increase can be credited to discount airline Allegiant, which services the airport. 381 Allegiant flights landed at the Punta Gorda Airport in the month of June. And stay with us. Your forecast and the latest on Tropical Storm Don coming up right after this. Services.com. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No small I mean, really moves me. Wow. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder. High performance style. Let the art of fiat move you. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. 
That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases, a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Well, we had our showers a little a little <laughs> earlier today, but the, I, I guess I started hearing thunder around 1.30 this afternoon. and At then 3 it, o'clock. But it kind of stayed stayed off right near the interstate. Right along the I-75 yeah. corridor, Lakewood Ranch, Parish, we'll see on radar. But we also have Tropical Storm Dawn. That's right, yeah. Our fourth named storm of the season. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal, but we'll tell you all the details on it coming up in just a couple of minutes. And here is that storm passing Lakewood Ranch right about 3 o'clock, dropping down some rain, a little lightning, and it's passed. But... The skies have not entirely cleared in the wake of that storm. Currently at Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, it's 83 degrees, the dew point 73 humidity, 72% winds are currently calm. And believe it or not, we were right on the money for normal high and low today. 76 the actual temperature, which should be about 75. And the high this afternoon, uh, 90 degrees, which is right on the money for normal. We take a look at that southerly flow over Florida, and it is producing uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And behind that, we also had a uh, little rain out in the Mayaka River area that uh, produced a flash flood warning, or actually a flood warning for Mayaka Head on the Mayaka River. It happens this time of year as we get these storms passing overhead. There's our tropical weather outlook. A new disturbance is blown off the coast of Africa. It only has a 20% chance of developing, but look at this. We have tropical storm dawn. Boy, was it a surprise to be this afternoon because about 2 o'clock, they only had about a 50% chance of this storm developing, but you can see it doesn't have a lot of circulation with it. It doesn't look like it's going to be any big deal, but the Hurricane Center says it's there because Hurricane Hunter aircraft blew out from the Windward Islands and flew back and forth across it and found out it has winds of 40 miles an hour. Its movement is to the west, and because of that, there is a tropical storm warning in effect for Grenada, and tropical storm watches in effect from about Barbados southward to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Here's the forecast for the next couple of days, showing it moving into the Caribbean into some very unfavorable conditions. Winds may be bumping up another 5 miles an hour to 45, but once it moves across the uh, Caribbean, look at this uh, forecast of wind and um, pressure. And even in the GFS model, does not even have it there uh, from this afternoon's run. But you can see the winds increasing a little bit as it moves across the Caribbean. But by Friday, Saturday, there's really nothing left of it. So hopefully this will not be any big problems for the Caribbean. Now, our weather pattern, we have that strong tropical flow coming in from the south afternoon evening thunderstorms, as you'd expect this time of year. And tomorrow we could have another round of heavy ones coming in. You can see them on that model and moving offshore, and then another burst coming up on Wednesday afternoon. Now here's something that's very curious for tonight. Let's look at this in high resolution from our rapid refresh high resolution model that takes us out through the overnight hours, and it has a pretty good handle on those storms moving uh, into the heart of Florida after the being here. But look what happens overnight. They seem to think another burst might come in um, late in the evening, early morning hours, and then move away and, and dissipate by tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. It'd be interesting if it does, because I'm not seeing anything out in the Gulf of Mexico that would indicate that's a threat. Southerly winds in the morning at the beach, westerly in the afternoon to 10 knots, seas, two feet or less. Bay and inland waters will have a light chop. The water temperature, 88. The air temperature, 89 tomorrow at the beach. The UV index, it's going to be a sizzling 11. Use your sunscreen. Here's my forecast for tonight. 30% chance, maybe a greater chance, but right now we're going to keep it at 30 with an overnight low of 76 and southeast winds at 5. And tomorrow it's going to be hot and humid again, but the thunderstorm's developing. And that heat index near 99 degrees, but if you look at the thermometer, it'll only be 89, but it'll feel much warmer than that. 
Here's your seven-day outlook. No big change in the weather pattern for the next several days, 40, 50, 30, 40, 50. It's, it's hard to call it right on the money, but you can see no big pattern change for the balance of this week. Coming up later on, we'll take another look at uh, Tropical Storm Dawn, which does not seem to be a problem for very many people. Scott? Okay, Steve, thank you. A duck found in Sarasota County will get a chance to fly again. Thanks to local law enforcement, the little guy was trapped in a storm drain over the weekend. Two animal services officers worked with a Sarasota police officer to come up with a plan to rescue it. The group freed the duck from the drainage pipe, and now it is reunited with its flock. Good job. Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up, we'll introduce you to Lady Liberty and 133 of her best friends. This week, the GOP health care showdown vote. The White House putting on the pressure. Mitch McConnell struggling to get the votes as Americans worried about their health coverage push back once more. This is where America turns for answers. World News Tonight with David Muir. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $189 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Record-setting hot weather means your AC is working overtime to keep your home cool, which can lead to high bills. That's why we're bringing in the energy experts from Florida Power and Light Company. Watch ABC 7 News from 5 to 6.30 this Tuesday to get your questions answered during the FPL Ask the Energy Expert phone bank. From free online tools to FPL's new mobile app, learn how to save energy and money only on ABC 7. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. No matter how long you've lived here, there are still some places you may not have known about, like a farm dedicated to miniature horses less than three feet tall. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more in tonight's A Place We Call Home. The Fallen Pine Miniature Horse Farm is home to 134 miniature horses. How tall is a miniature horse? Miniature horses measured at the last hair of the mane. And 34 inches and under. Or in the last few years, we've started breeding those miniatures with your Shetlands, crossing them over and they make wonderful Arabian-looking horses. The little horses love people. A miniature horse just like a big dog. They'll crawl in your lap, you get kisses, you get lo lots of affection from a miniature horse, much more so than a big horse. Judy says a miniature horse can do anything a big horse can do. She doesn't recommend riding them, but she says they're great cart horses. They learned to pull when they worked in, in the mines in England back in the 15th and 16th centuries. And they learned to pull. They love to drive a cart. And a miniature horse, uh, one good-sized miniature horse, 30 to 34 inches, can pull 1,000 pounds. Judy is a renowned breeder. All of my stallions are no less than two-time national champions. One is eight times a national champion, and one is 14 times national champion. I do believe if you're going to raise something, you should raise a quality animal. 
A 4 H club group meets here, and the members show the miniature horses. They bring home a lot of trophies. They're very active uh, all over the state of Florida showing. We go to nationals every year. My kids always are in the top 10 in the nation. And kids 4 to 14 come here for summer camp. We do all types of activities, anything the big horse does, trail obstacle, jumping, liberty, halter, color, you name it, and we do it. Judy says working with the little horses is a healing experience. I've had autistic kids here. I've had all types of the exceptional students here. We work with them. I do five to eight nursing homes here a year where the people come. It's healing for the horses, too. This is where Sarasota County Animal Control brings abused or neglected miniature horses. They're put here and uh, we bring them back up to good health. I mean, they do come, some of them pretty sad looking. And uh, we bring them back up to good health and the kids work with them so they're real, real friendly when they leave us. Fallen Pine is open to the public. All you need to do is call ahead and make arrangements for a tour. These wonderful miniature horses and this great farm, one of the reasons the Sun Coast is such a great place to call home. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Sun Coast News. Hi there, Liberty. Hi there, Liberty. <laughs> really nice. She has a new friend, huh? And we have a new tropical storm, yep. Tropical Storm Don, that's formed in the Atlantic. It poses a threat to the uh, Caribbean, but I don't think it's going to reach us at all, moving in too far south to have any influence on the United States, and I don't think it's going to last more than a couple, three days. That's kind of we like right yep. there. All right. Steve, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a good evening. Our next news coming up at 7 o'clock with World News Tonight with David Muir mm -hmm. is next. We hope to see you again at 11 o'clock as well. Have a good night.